Hello everyone and welcome to this um, short introduction of the World Book and Copyright Day. Um, today we will cover some uh, very broad topics that revolve around this day, which is 23rd of April 2021. Um, during the last year, when most countries have seen periods of confinement and people have had to limit their time spent outside, books have have proved to be powerful tools to combat isolation, reinforce ties between people, expand our horizons while stimulating our minds and creativity. In some countries, the number of books read has doubled during the month of April and all year round. It is critical to take the time to read on your own or with your children. It is time to celebrate the importance of reading, foster children's growth as readers, and promote a lifelong love of literature and integration into the world of, um, of books. Um, throughout reading and the celebration of World Book and Copyright Day, 23 of April, we can open ourselves to others despite distance and we can travel thanks to imagination. In the preparation for World Book and Copyright Day, UNESCO encourages you to challenge yourself to explore new topics, formats, and genres that are out of your usual interest. And when we go to, um, to see a little bit more in depth about the um, World Book and Copyright Day, well, we can see that it actually takes place on 23rd of April, um, 2021. And um, now, as a fun fact, Shakespeare, Miguel de Cervantes, and Inca Garcilaso de la Vega all died around that date. And um, this date was a natural choice for the UNESCO General Conference held in Paris, 1995. Um, it was uh, to pay a worldwide tribute to books and authors on this date, encouraging everyone to access books. And um, th this is why um, uh, 23 of April is a symbolic date. Well, also, it is a celebration to promote the enjoyment of books and reading. Each year on 23 of April, celebrations take place all over the world to recognize the scope of books, a link between the past and the future, a bridge between generations and across cultures. On this occasion, UNESCO and the international organizations representing the three major sectors of the book industry, publisher, booksellers and libraries, select the World Book Capital for a year to maintain, through its own initiative, the impetus of the day's celebration. Now, um, let's say a little bit about copyright. Uh, by championing books and copyright, uh, UNESCO stands up for creativity, diversity, and equal access to knowledge with the work across the board, from the Creative Cities of Literature Network to promoting literacy and mobile learning and advancing open access to scientific knowledge and educational resources. With the active involvement of all stakeholders, authors, publishers, teachers, librarians, public and private institution, institutions, humanitarian NGOs and the mass media, and all of those who feel motivated to work together in this world celebration of books and authors, World Book and Copyright Day has become a platform to rally together millions of people all around the world. And now we can take a look at the um, YouTube copyright strike. Um, when you get a copyright strike, um, as you can see on the, on the screen right now, this is, um, this is what happens when you get um, copyright strike. And moving on next onto the speed reading. Well, speed reading, it's a very useful skill nowadays, especially if you want to be a part of the communication sciences and you're interested in doing lots of research and lots of studying. The second you learn how to uh, speed reading, how to do speed reading, um, you will have uh, automatically an advantage over other people. And for that, you can use um, tools, tips and tricks as a pacer. You can use your finger to check the rows and um, to read a little bit faster. Uh, you can skip always the first word and you will never use, uh, you'll never lose the, the meaning of the sentence. That's simply mind blowing. And subvocalization, it means to simply not read the word out loud in your mind. Just visualize it. Uh, but this is a little bit hard, so it takes some time to do. And at the end, to actually memorize, try to summarize what you just read so you can have a better comprehension and a better understanding. And there are a lot, a lot of courses out there for um, helping you through this journey. And basically, this was the introduction. I would like to thank you very much for being here. 
and um, I hope you had a pretty good time. And now um, let's go back to the rest of the um, of the activities. Thank you. About the Jazz Day, the Jazz Day is the international day on thirtieth uh, of April, and it is celebrated because jazz is used as a tool against discrimination of to fight for equality and yeah these things. Um, then this year actually is the 10th year anniversary of the jazz day and why why jazz is chosen as like this important day is because it has a really long history um, it was brought from the slaves from west africa to the usa and um, it originated first it was like kind of a traditional music just for the slaves and it evolved and after the um, slavery was officially abolished in 1862 the um, the musicians the enslaved music musicians were free to perform their own type of music and um, slowly it evolved and I th think the first um, type of jazz was blues. Um, it was very really melancholic and it had a lot of piano, uh, like playing with the piano, and it gave the like for the first time a chance for um, black people to perform their skills.